Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Now, what is the questions uh, I'm going to cover? So you have what you have done. You have deployed the charts which was developed by someone else. Nothing great about it. Now at a high level, we will create our own charts also and deploy it locally from the local. So that flow also will understand. So it will be easy for us to understand the whole pictures at a small level and then we'll, we'll deep dive into that. So now the question is uh, how to create a custom chart okay so that is a question so for that i'm going to access my screen now here i'll create one my charts directory i will get go in get into inside this and now here i will check which command line which will help me to create charts. So if you remember that morning I showed you immediately. See here, create a new chart with a given name. So here, Helm chart, okay, hyphen H. This way you can learn anything you have. So Helm chart hyphen H uh, is not coming. Uh, oh, sorry, my bad. Helm, Helm create hyphen H. So now whatever the options you have available, uh, you should please read it actually. It will help you. OK, and here is a command. And these are the options. Slowly we'll learn about that. So Helm create and my or let's say DevOps X is one of the product which we have it now i don't need to explain you all this thing because you understand so tree is not installed in my ubuntu machine i'll install it mind it i'm doing everything as a root uh, because i don't want you to struggle for sudo all the time so here three so yeah now this files this files this files this file this file these are the template file you can uh, modify it, but what I'm going to do, you know what? I'll delete this file. All these files, I'll delete this. Okay, because I want a very basic charts to be deployed. Very basic chart. No service. Nothing. So here, everything I'm deleting it. And now, if you see that, okay, what happened? Sorry, my bad. I was I did not delete anything because you have to go to the templates folder and delete it. 
delete and here see nothing is there so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to just simply deploy one pod dot yaml that's all very simple one pod dot yaml and examples i'll take it from my website you can take it from the google also pod example and here i'm not having any variables interpolations simply i'm just copying this i'll share the links with you i done so this is something which i am deploying simple so this image this pod will deploy and this is the one of my image which will be deployed that's all so what i'm trying to say here is you can create a skeleton and inside this directory you can have you can copy your pod.yaml service yaml all these files as you wanted all the yamls which is required for running applications devops x and then deploy it so now i will go ahead and little bit uh, change the charts also so here if i go for this one so here charts also and here name and all here description i'll change it on uh, this version if you really want to change it here so that is something which you can get it done for testing purpose testing purpose okay done so at a very niche level there's no variables interpolations so in that case you don't need any of this actually <clears throat> none of this i'm using this variable is not used at all actually so good so guys this is the simplest form of chart you can say and manually also with directory structure you can create it but command line it will be easy for you will not make a mistakes so did you understand that all of you All of you. Hello. Yes. Yes, yes yeah. Now, how do we deploy? Helm install chart name. You want to give it release name, right? So I'm giving DevOps. Also, you should check this option also. Please spend some time with these options. See here. There's a one way. Or, or or slowly we'll get into that complexity so all this thing you can do that also so get comfortable with hyphen h option all the time this will save your time and stuff like that okay anyways so here now helm install release name devops x dot that's all so earlier I used the website registry, but this time local chart. This is my local chart, which is developed by you and you are deploying. And here we deployed. See here, default namespace deployed, revision number one. Can I check now? So Helm list. Okay. So this is deployed. And you want to check using QCTL. So QCTL, you also you can check this. See here. Rajesh, so you you mentioned the name and then the directory, the root directory, right? Uh, this uh, can be any. Called? This can be any name. It's a release name. Correct. This is the root directory. I mean, current directory dot, and the directory name. Correct. So this this DevOps x is the uh, directory where all the charts are placed i mean where the chart.yaml is there because you mentioned yeah. earlier the chart.yaml is the entry point yeah to read so yeah. every uh, every helm chart that you create or or the deployment that you create will have chart.yaml always yeah this okay it should have that the structure always will be there that's uh -huh. the reason create command I used it. So this is a meta. We call it meta. 
okay. all the meta information about this chart. Meta means name, description, copyright, how to use it, some instructions, dependency, many things will be there and all. Okay. Now templates, all the templates file will be there here. All the YAML file of Kubernetes. Now if you want to interpolate, interpret all the values will be here. And if it is specified, the interpolation will happen before deploying. This time what I did, I had no variables directly hard coded everything and deployed just to showcase you how do we create a small label chart and then deploy without before getting into the complexity of it. Got it. All of yeah, you understood. Thanks. So here you see that only pod you have got it. So. And this pod you can do whatever you want. QC uh, till command. Rajesh, I sorry, I guess I missed it. But can you tell me where you define the image that this chart is going to use to deploy? Mm. Uh, here this command. You see an LS you see here. This Achha. is the chart. So no, first no, you chart do... is fine. Chart what chart will do it will create a pod for me, but which service to run in the pod somewhere you would have defined that right? No, I did not define no service dot YAML. Okay. I did not post it. See, you have to push it or dot YAML deployment dot YAML service dot YAML ingress dot YAML PV dot YAML PVC dot YAML config all this. You have to put it up based on your requirement. This so is here, just to get what you are doing is just uh, starting a pod. Yes, I mean, I no just service want, in it. I don't want to deploy service in this. I don't want to deploy any other services, but pod. OK. Got it. No, actually you name it like node. So I thought you have mentioned somewhere that you are starting node or some NGINX. So that's uh, node means. I think you are getting confused here. Node I have never used in this chart actually. Can you show the port dot ML? I think the doubt will be clear. It's very simple. You see that here. Kind port. Yeah, I was just saying that the, the metadata in the metadata you have name node. And hello this is a name. Ah, name. Ah, that I thought that you are. Are uh, you starting? Oh, from. no, no. But this is here. Name. But uh, you haven't. Uh, uh, but you said you have not used any image here. You have uh, created an NGINX service, right? Mm, no, 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 no. Uh, see, uh, that is uh, based. Uh, I can understand your question, but that not able to respond it to you properly because I need to go into the Kubernetes. Uh, your your confusion is around understanding the Kubernetes file. That is a problem. No, my just one question I have. What this will do in this pod, the container with nginx will be there or not? Yes, of course you can access. Let it me access. have it now. Yeah, yeah. It, let me give you that. Just a second. So this is your nginx. Call. I'm inside a cluster because of one. This is the reason I set up orchestration with a, within a cluster. See here. Got it. Yeah. So like that. Okay. So this is the one. So slowly we'll will incorporate many complexity. But my my idea was. Do you know how to create your own chart? Maybe it's very hello world chart, simple chart. I did create it and deploy it. So if I if it's next time, next time someone will ask, hey, can you create a chart? So you know a skeleton to be created, then you know all the temp, all the YAML files to be filled. Even though it's a hard coded one, let it be filled. You know where to place it and how to run the local chart. Are you comfortable with it, all of you? Hello. All of you. Yes, Rajesh. Yeah. So what I used. Uh, so let me. 
give you that logic. So here. I'll give you the commands for that. I created a skeleton. First. After that, I got into this directory. Second. And after that. I got into templates also. After that I deleted this file which was given as a part of hello world. You can change it. After that vi dot template. I just did it. And I took some files internet hell lot of files are there. You can take it up from wherever you want. And then after that. Here. Modify this chart dot yaml you should at least access it so you'll remember that chart dot yaml cd dot dot cd chart dot yaml and finally you again back to one directory here and then you spend some time with this one i must insist all of you you understand or not understanding all this thing, but you are spend. You need to get comfortable. And after that, this is the local chart from current locations. And um, Rajesh, uh, can you add that command also, which adds the tree? Oh, tree. A tree is a command itself in Linux. Okay, so let me install it. Where is that? Okay, hold on a second. So first, you install tree itself in apt get install tree. Now before that everyone must be sudo because I don't want you to struggle for it. So that's all. Understood all of you. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.